can't wait to see the new Star Wars movie. It's gonna be so awesome. Glad you're excited. Kind of late. I'm afraid they're going to be some fines. It's actually really late. Um, it's like uh, eight, eight years late. Eight years? Hmm. <laughs> Must have been a good one. I'm really sorry. I just like completely forgot about it. And I, I found it in an old closet I was cleaning out this weekend. Yeah, well, it'll probably be a small fortune. That's fine. You know what? Just forget it. You sure? I feel like it's my responsibility. It really doesn't matter. We're closing by the end of the month anyhow, so. Sorry to hear that. You didn't see the papers? We're out of funding. I moved away a few years ago. <clears throat> well, I guess things aren't what they used to be. Are you kidding? This is the list of books currently out on loan. Yeah. For the last six months. Oh. On one page. Let's see what you mean. No one reads anymore. We're just relics of the bygone era. Everyone's too caught up with these things. I know, it's terrible. I can't put mine down either. I swear we are regressing as a species. Well, maybe, but I still hold out some hope for humanity. I'm just afraid it's going to take a miracle or some sort of life threatening near apocalypse. Sorry. Actually, that can wait. Can't remember the last time I had a real meaningful conversation. What were we saying? <laughs> Sorry. Hope. Hope. Mm. Oh, yeah. You were saying you felt that it would take something drastic to wake people up. Something like that. You see, I, I feel something drastic already happened. Keeps happening. Evidence is all around us. What? Well, I mean, everywhere you look, there's a mountain of misery I and mean, mass shootings and oil pipeline ruptures, torture, genocide, extinction. I, I can keep going. <laughs> Wait, I'm, uh, I'm confused. I thought that you were the one holding out hope. I am. I didn't get that. Um, there has never been any moment more important than right now. I exist. You exist. We might share some common knowledge of events past or some anxious anticipation of what's to be, but other than that, well, there really isn't much else, which means we are free to create our reality as we choose. Okay, so then what about your mountain of misery? How does that factor into your equation in such a way that you can actually still hold out hope for a positive outcome? Because every moment is a choice, a choice to choose to see all the beauty the world has to offer to go on giving the best of yourself. I might choose to tune out and live in my little bubble, but well, then along comes someone like you. Wakes me up from my comfortable slumber. <laughs> so thank you for that. <laughs> what did I do? Mm. Well, I can see that beyond your um, annoyance in me and your <laughs> disappointment in literacy <laughs> rates is uh, somebody who actually gives a damn. Really? Hmm. Oh, you wouldn't be here. As soon as you found out this place was closing, you could have just thrown in the towel right then. Said, uh, why bother? But here you are. Thank you. Thank you. 
Do you have a pen I can borrow? <laughs> of course. Thank you. If you ever need anything, call me. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Stop your 